The deer population in Greater Victoria seems to be growing every year, and in some rural areas, it's growing a little too fast. On Sydney Island, Parks Canada is considering a call to thin the herd and provide meat and antlers to local First Nations. As A News reporter Aaron Glazier shows us, the deer are becoming a hazard to the island's natural habitat. It's really a desert for anything but, but deer. Sydney Island has long been an oasis for these deer, but their overeating has killed the ecosystem, and now they may be on the chopping block. Absolutely no over, over, understory. The trees were all chopped off to the height that a, a deer could reach, so as they'd stand up and eat, there was just a, a straight bottom to the, the live crown of every tree, nothing down until this sort of pool table swath of green. In the early 1900s, the island was owned by a private citizen who introduced the non-native deer for gaming purposes. Today, Sydney Island is made up of both public and private land, but the deer know no boundaries. An estimated 700 roam the forests and meadows on the island. That number is actually down from its height in the past. Close to 2,000 lived on the island, but many were shot by private landowners and sold to local restaurants for their venison meat. The smaller the population gets, the more the effort's required to capture them. So now we're, we need to be adaptive. We need to shift our strategy. It's not, it's, not easy, it's not simply as easy as that anymore to open the gates. Parks Canada's new plan is to cull the herd even further and give the meat, antlers and hides to local First Nations. The plan could prove controversial, so public input is being sought. You have until September 15th to tell Parks Canada what you think. We're looking for comments. We're interested in, in what people think. That's, we're, we're strongly consultative in, in things like this. We do want to know what people think. I think it makes a lot of sense. Once again, the animals can reproduce with alarming efficiency, and so they probably would uh, reinstitute the population without too much difficulty. I don't know. I'm a total animal lover, so I'd rather not be killed in any, in any sense. This vegetation monitoring zone is an example of what the meadow would look like without deer. A vast difference to this grass, which has been eaten down to almost nothing. Parks Canada hopes to re-establish the population at one to three hundred deer depending on how the ecosystem recovers. Uh, so that there's an understory so that migratory birds have a place to breed so that there's insects for them to eat so that small mammals have cover. All of those things are missing on Sydney Island right now. A fine balance between nature and nurture to keep all species in check on the picturesque island. To submit your views on the proposal log on to golf.islands at pc.gc.ca. In Sydney, Aaron Glazier, A News.